Oh, I'm relaxing when this sad. Hey guys, it's Katie from HeyKatie.net. Uh, today is day 10 of Vida, which is blogging every day in August, also known as Vlogist. Uh, and when coming up with a video for today, I had intended to do a small craft with you. However, uh, it was a rough night. My youngest son, uh, who's almost two, decided to wake up at 3 a.m. and refuse to go back to bed. So I am exhausted. I've had a three-day migraine. <laughs> And so uh, you're left with me just talking today. So basically I, uh, I didn't really know what to do for my video. So I went on YouTube and I looked up creative tags and I found um, through someone called Overall Adventures, a, um, the Overall Adventures YouTube channel, she did a creativity process tag or creative process tag uh, back in early July. Uh, and so I decided to answer those questions and see what happens. So. This is uh, all about my creative process, apparently. So first up, what do you create? I create uh, stories and pictures. Uh, I love to write. I've been writing since I was knee high to a grasshopper. Uh, and I have written books when I was a kid, non published, obviously, but very, you know, they made me happy. Uh, my mommy said it was good. And I've been writing ever since. I can't imagine my life without writing. Okay. I went to I went to college oh. for journalism uh, oh. and dropped out twice because I realized I didn't like journalism. I like writing from the heart or I like writing yeah. fiction. I also love yeah. art, uh, drawing and painting. And I love acting, which is good because I have yeah. this little guy who is a cat today. This is Prometheus cat. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Uh, and so that's what I create. I just create anything that allows me to express myself. And, you know, recently I've been getting into hand lettering, bullet journaling, and those things just make me really happy. What do you need to create? Uh, I need to write every day. I have to. Uh, this is why I blog. It's my outlet. I re I'm in the middle of writing a book, um, which I have actually been working on since 2008 which is very sad to admit, but uh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully one day I'll finish it and even more hopefully it'll get published. Um, but yeah, I can't imagine my life without writing in it. Coffee or tea? Coffee, 100% coffee, everyday coffee. Um, today I'm drinking my venti iced coconut milk mocha macchiato <laughs> from uh, Starbucks, which is my drink of choice these days since I'm not supposed to have uh, milk, so. That's what I've been drinking. It's pretty good. I have to have coffee. I can't survive without coffee. Night or day. I used to be a major night owl. I used to stay up all night painting and doing whatever else. Um, but that was because I was really unhappy and depressed and uh, wasn't really doing well in my life. Uh, so now that I am doing well and I am very happy, I definitely prefer the daytime, especially living in Utah where I'm surrounded by, you know, sunshine, mountains, lakes, forests, everything you could ever want. And it's all beautiful and I want to be out in it all day. Where do you find inspiration? Uh, I personally find inspiration everywhere, uh, whether it's in music or on television. But these days, the things that inspire me most are visual um places like Instagram or YouTube, places where I can go and just see what other people are doing. I love watching what other people are doing and taking that as inspiration for my own stuff. And you know, that's a really good thing. I love Instagram. It's like my number one thing. You can actually follow me there. Hey Katie blog is my um, username. Uh, and that's true of all social media. So follow me everywhere. Uh, routine or wing it. Well, I'm a little, I'm a mix. I'm a little bit of both. I love having a routine. I'm a person who has OCD. Um, I like things the way I like things. So having a routine is good. And it also means I usually get more done. However, I do tend to wing it a lot. Um, for instance, my Vita videos, uh, every day I'm doing a different video and I have no idea what I'm doing until about five minutes, if that, before the video. Like today, obviously I thought I was gonna do a craft. And when I realized that's just not gonna happen, I looked up on YouTube for a creative tag and found this and started doing it. So I like to wing it. Typical artistic challenge. I'm assuming that means what challenges me. What, what do I find challenging? Um, for me, that would be um, not comparing myself to, myself to others. Seeing what other people are doing, it's really hard not to want to do it too and to think, oh my God, they're doing it so much better than I'm doing it. Um, it's hard for me to admit that I'm not 
able to control things the way I'd like to. Like with hand lettering, I see the most amazing people doing the most amazing, beautiful hand lettering. And I do it and I think that's easy. It's just writing. And mine does not look half as good. And it's just about not comparing myself and it's trying to make, you know, practice so that I get better. Uh, that's a big challenge for me. I'm not giving up because I see everybody else is better. Um, role models. My role models, I mean, I have loads of role models in all aspects of my life, but as far as creativity goes, right now, probably my biggest role model is um, Boho Berry. Uh, she is kind of the bullet journal queen, uh, the original gangsta of bullet journaling online and she you know has a great instagram um profile it's beautiful you can always find something amazing her blog is full of tips and tricks and you know the best of the best of how to's and just beautiful layouts and things so that's really inspiring me lately so big uh, uh big shout out to boho berry um favorite snacks for creativity no i, I don't snack generally um, despite my appearance, I'm not a snacker. I do drink a lot of coffee, which is probably why, eh. anyway, I don't allow food near anything creative because I'm always afraid I'm going to spill and ruin it. So I don't, I'm not creative while snacking. I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? Go get water. All right. Um, how do you push through creative blocks? Um, I just do. <laughs> If I'm blocked, I'll usually just wait um, a little bit and hope that it gets better. It usually does. And if it doesn't, I just think, well, it's not the right time to be creative. So I guess I do wait. I just, I don't push through. I don't try and force it. Creativity is something to me you have to be in the mood for. You have to be inspired. You have to be ready to go. You can't just sit there with a pencil in your hand and hope for the best and just start scribbling. It doesn't, for me, it doesn't work that way. Ideal creative day. Um, I guess for me, the ideal creative day would be to wake up, uh, write part of my book for a few hours without interruptions and with lots of Starbucks, uh, and then take a break so I could do some crafts with my kiddos. Uh, I love, you know, doing something with them so that we're all kind of happy and inspired and getting to do our thing and something that's not too messy so I don't have to clean it up or definitely messy and let my husband clean it up. That would be ideal, I guess. Um, and something that they can learn from. And then after that, I'd like to have some time to work on my own creative pursuits like journaling or uh, just painting or watching YouTube videos and how to's and then some more writing before I go to bed. That would probably be my ideal creative day. Advice for young artists. Uh, I guess it would be um, along the lines of what I said earlier. Don't compare yourself. Find inspiration everywhere you can but don't compare yourself to others because you will never add up. It's never, you're never going to be as good as you th think you should be or that you want to be. And you're always going to find someone who's doing it better. And you can only compare yourself to yourself. Look at what you did yesterday and see if today is, is better. That's all I got. <laughs> um, sum up your creative process in one sentence. <sighs> Organized chaos is my jam. That's it. And do you have any artistic quirks? I don't think so. I'm not that quirky of a person. I guess um, I do like to try weird things like, you know, painting with coffee, you know, staining with coffee or something like that. Um, I like to try things that aren't necessarily mainstream. Um, I like to, you know, take something like words and create pictures from words and stuff like that. Just things that are a little bit out of the ordinary. They've probably been done before, but they're just something that I can do that's kind of cool and kind of new for me. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for the uh, creative tag. Thank you so much to Overall Adventures on YouTube. And I appreciate you uh, coming up with this tag because otherwise I wouldn't have had a video today. So thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. I appreciate it when you do. Uh, leave me a comment to let me know you subscribed and let me know what you think of this video. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog for a uh, Vida vlogist thing. Don't forget to check out my blog, heykatie.net. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.